All right, so I got a ton of you guys um, giving me a thumbs up on the Costco haul. So I went ahead and um, wanted to do this video. Now this is not a Costco haul. So this is different than the last video. This is um, from just a regular grocery store. I went to Smith's. Um, they, in other parts of the country, I know that it's Kroger. And um, so where you live, you may or may not have this store, but this is Smith's in my area, Kroger um, in other parts of the area of the country, I know. Um, so this is what I got for my family of six, um, not from Costco. So when I go to Costco this time, I'm only gonna need a few things that are just way cheaper to buy there. But I um, sometimes have to go to the regular grocery store when I'm doing a lot of different dinners that require individual ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started over here. I um, I just got some frozen um, vegetables. So we have green beans, peas, corn, and chopped spinach. I will use this in a soup I make, um, this on the side with another meal. And then I like to have frozen vegetables for the second week of my meal plan when the fresh stuff generally wouldn't be good anymore. Um, down here I have some boar's head um, turkey breast and some boar's head um, roast beef. I'm gonna be doing like, um, roast beef and peppers um so all of these things i will have the dinners down in the description box of what i plan to make with them they are all kid friendly and macro friendly in my opinion um just some colby jack cheese some provolone for the roast beef a big thing of mozzarella cheese a big thing of um monterey jack uh, for tacos and then back here you guys have heard me talk about it I am obsessed. This is the best stuff in the whole entire world. So I really have to control myself when I buy these because each one is about $5. Um, but uh, I got two, four, six, six um, pints of the Halo Top ice cream. I absolutely love it. Um, over here are my favorite uh, macro-friendly protein yogurts. Um, and then I went ahead and got a couple of these for my kids because uh, I don't know about your kids, but mine are always hungry. And Greek yogurt fills them up because of the protein content. But they, my kids don't like fruit in their yogurt, which, you know, whatever. Um, so this is blended. So these are pretty good. Then I got some feta cheese for the Greek type salad that we're going to be having. Um, moving over here is the produce and as you can see produce is the majority of what i've got so i'm just going to go through it um i have some uh baby spinach i have two things of bananas two things two pineapples here i have eight green peppers just kind of lumped all right here um for the uh, roast beef subs as well as some other dinners that i plan to make i have a thing of blueberries a couple nectarines back there, a thing of romaine lettuce, a stalk of celery, three white onions for those subs again, as well as a soup I'm making. I have shredded carrots uh, for my salads for like lunch. Um, not having to chop them is just one of those things that I pay extra money for. These I love for my kids because they're chips um, and I always serve them a vegetable with their lunch. Uh, this shredded lettuce is just good on tacos. Then I went ahead and got this shredded cabbage for my salad as well. Uh, we have a red onion for the Greek style salads. I have some sliced mushrooms for a pasta dish I'm making. Um, quite a few gala apples back here. Strawberries were on sale even though it's not in season. My kids love strawberries so I went ahead and got those. I have um, two heads of cilantro for our enchiladas and tacos, uh, three cucumbers for the Greek um, style salad, and then just two avocados right here that I will slice up and I uh, primarily use for breakfast. So that, oh, and some lemons back here because I just like to throw lemons in my water. So that is primarily the uh, produce. 
Now moving over here, these are all of the random miscellaneous items that I cannot buy at Costco. Some of them I can, but I don't like to buy these things in bulk. So this is actually the primary area of why I went to a regular grocery store. So um, down here, cost, my Costco does not sell fettuccine noodles. They only sell spaghetti noodles. And I know it's not a big difference, but I wanted fettuccine noodles. So I got two of those for a dinner I'm making. I got these whole wheat egg noodles, two of those, um, to make Swedish meatballs with um, turkey meat, which I will get at Costco. This huge thing of jasmine rice uh, was on sale, and so I went ahead and got it. Um, some pineapple chunks for the chicken kebabs I plan to make. Corn tortillas for uh, tacos as well as enchiladas. Flour tortillas for tacos as well as lunch quesadillas. My ultimate favorite salad dressing, so macro friendly, so kid friendly. My kids love this one. They eat it all over their salads. These are great for getting your healthy fats in. Another um, salad dressing I just personally like. Back here I have some vegetarian refried beans to go with our enchiladas, some green chilies, a Spanish rice back there, honey for miscellaneous stuff, some olives to go with the Greek night. Um, my husband and my kids will dip their um, roast beef subs in this gravy mix. I probably will not. Um, the Swedish meatball seasoning, just some dinner sides to have with grilled chicken. Um, this pesto alfredo sauce is so good. My kids love it and um, the ingredients of this one are pretty good compared to some of the others. So that is for the fettuccine uh, night, which I will do chicken and mushrooms on the side. And that's kind of how I uh, make those meals macro friendly for me. The enchilada sauce for the chicken enchiladas I'll do. And just some good old fashioned Smucker's uh, strawberry squeezable jelly for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So that is primarily the area of why I went to Smith's um, for lots of different random meals. Um, and then the last area that I have is over here. And um, we were just totally out of bread or I would have just waited to go to Costco to get my bread because it is cheaper. But um, I just went ahead and got this. I actually sent my kids to get two of the same bread and one of them brought this back. So I usually do not buy this bread. However, we'll, we'll roll with it. Um, I didn't feel like going all the way back and exchanging it. Um, these double protein English muffins are amazing when you're trying to get your protein intake up. And then for the not healthy stuff, yes, I'm showing you the not healthy stuff. Uh, when my kids go grocery shopping with me, I always let them choose out one thing and they wanted these. So they were buy one, get one free. So they went ahead and chose them. Um, these are just some little um, cereal bars that are just good for like a morning snack or when we need to grab something. And this back here um, is for our taco night. Um, and so they, they are normal kids. And I think uh, teaching our kids to have a healthy relationship with food doesn't come from depriving them of everything, but teaching them why we don't eat six bags of these in a day instead of maybe just having a couple. So that's my philosophy on that. So anyways, this is the last area. All of this cost me uh, $200. And $28, so you can see the um, bread type stuff, the ice cream and the yogurt, the frozen stuff, the lunch meat, which that lunch meat is like high quality lunch meat. It does not have any nitrates or um, preservatives or chemicals, and it goes bad fast, so just keep that in mind. Um, all of the produce. It's like a whole garden here. I wish I could grow a garden because that would really save me a lot of money. Um, and then the random dinner fill-in. So like I said, I will go to Costco, but I will only need to get a few things, primarily meat, eggs, and milk. Um, and that will really be it. So $228 was this haul at Smith's. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I'll put all of the uh, dinners I plan on making for this two-week period in the description box. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them for me, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.